Okay, this, this road right here, this little tiny dirt road used to be the, the gas plant where they fracked under all of the Boca Chica. That's where the sinkholes started in our yard. Um, don't miss them. But anyway, this Sanchez, this uh, gas plant is shut down now from, because of incompatible industry. Uh, it was mentioned in my sta EIS statement um, and it was quickly shut down, but I just found out that SpaceX has acquired it because a guy came from the Bambi Village back here. Way back here is Bambi Village. Uh, Bambi is a uh, single axle Airstream trailer nickname adopted by the Avalon trailers back in the 50s and then the Airstreams bought the Avalons out and kept the nickname Bambi. So anyway, uh, the single axled Airstream Bambi trailers have a road, a new road, that goes around to the east and then comes back along the north side and then back to the south and then zigzags back into here into the Sanchez gas facility. And uh, something must have been going on because he came screaming out of there at 40 miles an hour. Now the reason we always came back here before the gas pipeline was here is because it was nesting birds. And you could count the eggs, you could get involved with the bird count at Christmas time. It was just a fun place with all the trails. We had the Johanna, the Remedial Sloop. We had uh, a couple of other little bike and hiking trails. And uh, so anyway, the gas pipeline came in way before SpaceX. And this is the west side. And there is the SN5. Nope, excuse me, SN, SN6. It's time to pay attention, Maria. You lose count, you guys. I know you guys lose direction, but I lose count on SNs, Elon. You go too fast. Or not fast enough for some. So it's time to get back there and start shooting. So adios, amigos and senores and senoritas.
want to know what I'm taking a picture of. They're stopping and getting in my way. They're saying, what's she taking a picture of? I'm on the hook now. Behind these water tanks right here is a uh, generator being backed up with a whole lot of to do. You'll hear them giving instructions, stop, go, avast. Anyway, the beach is packed. People are turning around and going away, so um, I've seen at least a couple of hundred cars going by just here in the last half hour. Packed beach. And they all want to know what I'm taking a picture of and not really a whole lot. People are just kind of staging. And uh, the gypsy camp up there is kind of boring right now. Hi, yeah, they, uh, okay, give me your dust, and your tire, and your port. So I don't know if you can hear me, but uh, Big Grover pulled in. That was the big excitement for the beachgoers. Just a whole lot of dust and a whole lot of beachgoers wanting to know what I'm taking a picture of, so they're kicking up the dust. And these guys are waiting on the hook. They're gonna lift that container they're standing on. Can't see it, but there's a rig being backed up right through here. That's kind of the view on top of the blue Nissan. And I stand on top of the Nissan because I don't like eating rocks. I don't like cleaning my camera for an hour. So I try to get above the atmosphere a little bit. Um, best way, you guys, is to stand on top of your car. I call it an Ansel Adams. 
For those of you old enough to know black and white film, that would be a dead giveaway. You can Google his name. I studied under his uh, teachings with film photography. But anyway, it's easier up here. And I just tried to give you a panoramic and it's probably pretty crappy panoramic because I'm on top of the car and my feet don't move when I'm up here. So what you see is kind of what you get, what I guess. And uh, it's not perfect, but it's safer. Okay, that's the little rig they've been trying to back up for the last half hour. It uh, was squirrely and they had it on a ball hitch on the tine. So with that being said, I think he did pretty good squeezing it in that little hole. So it's shift change and the beach is packed. And you are looking at the lighthouse on the Rio Grande River on the Mexican side of the river, not the American side. And that's the mouth of the Rio Grande River. It sits right on the mouth at the Mexican side. It has a uh, uh, guards in it. It's not unmanned. 
and it uh, has. Gosh, those guys just go tearing out of here. It's so fast. Anyway, there's soldiers that man that lighthouse. I used to watch the rotating lights from our bedroom window in the villa. Anyway, it's very busy out here. You gotta be careful when you come out and watch behind you as much as in front of you. Some of these houses look really, really nice. The Mitchells here, oh wow, the windows. Once they get the landscaping done, the new SpaceX Village will be somewhat recognizable um, from the past. I'm sure they'll leave some of the, the established plants. Now, these houses here were so bad. And look how nice they look now. Oops, sorry. <clears throat> This is not easy, um, but there's no traffic behind me. They've been mowing, and uh, I know it's been hard to get some of these houses bought because people have passed away and the kids can't settle the estate or what have you, but there's 12 people that still own back here. And uh, Boca Chica Gal has a for sale sign in front of her house. Um, but the seven people that come in and out still, three of them are staying here. Prob I know two of them are because of the COVID. They're elderly and uh, one has asthma really bad. Matter of fact, I'm getting ready to take her some water right now. And uh, Ray's gonna come over and mow her lawn here later this week. But um, yeah, it's about three people, uh, four. Well, uh, yeah, four. Uh, I'm not gonna go through them all, but anyway, it's uh, coming together. Now I wanted to show you this place on the corner here, this gray. Place. This is one of the original apartment buildings, and you hear me say Mrs. Green a lot. Mrs. Green was the one of the children of the original Copernic Shores, and her family just bought everything. And these apartments are right next. Let me go around the corner here to uh, the Dana and Frank house on LBJ Boulevard. That's the house that uh, Elon talked about having a place to meet and greet. That's that place right over here. That's This is LBJ Boulevard. But Ray and I, we stayed in Mrs. Green's old apartments right here back in the day, way back in the day when we were fixing up our old house. Before Hurricane Dolly took out our old house, we had, uh, we had stayed over here and it was pretty infested. Oh, this is so nice. It, this doesn't do it justice, but you, they've got new windows and they've got new, uh, they're actually keeping the, the shrubbery, so it looks really nice.